The U.S. Treasury yield curve measured by two-year versus 10-year has been inverted since July of 2022. Now, an inversion is the somewhat unusual occurrence of long-end rates being lower than short-end rates, and it's usually a precursor to an economic recession. The simplest explanation as to why is that bond market is saying that rates on the short end are restrictively high and that over time, rates will have to move lower to counter the coming economic downturn. This is by far the longest inversion in history. Now, although the length and depth of the inversion doesn't usually correlate with the length or depth of the recession, it does correlate with the likelihood that the recession occurs. Over the last few weeks, though, the story appears to be changing. The two-year versus 10-year traded at a six-month low of negative 49 basis points on June 25th, and since that time, the spread moved higher to a two-month high of negative 28 basis points on July 1st, before backing off a little bit to a current level around negative 33 basis points. The driver of the move higher seems to correspond with a growing likelihood that the Federal Reserve is on the cusp of beginning an easing cycle in response to deteriorating data. Four straight inflation indicators have come in lower than expected, alongside weaker numbers in retail sales, ISM, and in labor data. On July 11th, we'll see the crown jewel in the monthly economic data with the CPI report, and expectations are for a continued decline to 3.1% increase year over year. That's down from 3.3% last month. If that number surprises the downside, it could bring eases more forward and drive the curve closer to zero. Now, if a trader believes that the curve could steepen back to zero, they could buy the July micro two-year versus 10-year treasury yield contract at negative 0.29 and target a move back to zero. Now, a stop for this trade could be placed below at negative 0.40. This trade could make $290 if the target is reached and risks $110 if you're stopped out of your level. Now, remember here that this trade gives you two individual positions in the underlying contracts, so stops will have to be monitored manually. Now, if a trader believes that the curve could invert further from here, they could sell the July micro two-year versus 10-year treasury yield contract at negative 0.29 and target a move to the June lows of negative 0.49. Now, a stop for this trade could be above at negative 0.15. This trade could make $200 if the target is reached and risks $140 if you're stopped out of your level.